Hi guys, welcome to Haunt Talk. I'm Josh and this is Ken. Today we're going to be reviewing the Haunted School of Terror in Weirton, West Virginia. Before that, we're going to talk about a project that we have been working on. As you know, we've been advertising uh, the Haunted House documentary, Haunt Behind the Scare, which is free to watch on YouTube. I highly recommend that. The link will be in the description. But we also want to make a follow-up documentary, right now deemed as Haunt Behind the Scare 2. It's a working title, but we work on it. Um, but we didn't get to cover a lot of things we wanted to in the first one, and the first one was completely self-funded, so we started to go fund me for that. Um, we were trying to get about $5,000, and that'll cover our travel expenses, all that. There is a video that we made describing everything that the money goes for and why we need it. Um, you know, and like the incentives, like $10, we'd be able to watch it for free when it comes out. $25, get the, you the DVD shipped to you for free if we make the $5,000. But again, there's a video describing everything in the link down below. And also make sure to subscribe to us. Like our videos, like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, and I guess we'll go ahead and get into the review. To start off, um, this haunted house is in an old school. Mm -hmm. um, it also has like a pre-haunt outside before yeah. you get inside, which is pretty cool. Um, and then once you get inside, it's pretty awesome. Um, <laughs> there's a regular haunted house and then there's the maze right that's all connected there's no separate lines um something else worth mentioning before we get into scoring is the queue line's really cool it's like an 80s skating rink is the best way to describe it with yeah. horror things it's really cool and there's like this movie that was actually made there what was it called the barn the barn yeah and um like their ads for it because um it's kind of like in that 80s horror movie genre mm -hmm. kind of thing all the ads and everything are 80s themed. So I think that's kind of why this queue line is so like retro. It's just very cool. Like I feel like, yeah, I, I feel like I have to have roller skates on when I'm mm -hmm. standing in the queue yeah, line. It's, it's pretty cool. It's yeah. really fun. So um, to start off, we're going to talk about design, which includes sets and props. We gave them a nine. Yeah. Um, there's so many like elaborate scenes and stuff and you can tell that most of the things that they have in there are handmade and handmade very well yes like very 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 well done um, there, there were very few like animatronic kind of stuff yeah there um, were some there was there enough. was some there was enough but yeah. it wasn't a whole bunch but a lot of it was handmade and you yeah. could it, it was really good yeah it was yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot of standout scenes. There's a dollhouse which you get to enter. Like it's a life-size dollhouse, and you get to go inside of it and you can, like crouch mm -hmm. down and go through the door. And the little girl, that's at the dollhouse. Yeah, you're creepy. <laughs> yeah, you're creepy. Um, Good job. <laughs> yeah. Um, there's a cool whole like alien scene and stuff you have to walk through, which that has some awesome actors, which we'll get to action in a minute. But it's really hard not to talk about them. And again, we'll talk about that yeah. later, and you'll see yeah. why. But um, there, even the pre-haunt at the beginning, it's just a small little thing. It's just like, it doesn't need to be there, but it's really cool that it mm -hmm. is. Because, like, you're about to go wait in the line, so you get your ticket. And, like, at least you get a little something before you go wait in the line. You know, you get a little little scare action going on before you get to the main haunt, which was cool. There was an Egyptian room that was really awesome. Mm -hmm. Like, they went down to, like, details. Like, they had sand on the ground. Yeah, yeah. So it was like you were walking in Egypt. It was just, it was really a good, really effective detail. Yeah, this place doesn't follow any particular theme, which is 100% fine, and it transitions pretty well. Yeah. And this is actually like one of the only complaints I have, is there's quite a bit of um, black hallway walking through. Yeah, I mean, like, it's black. You can't see anything, like, at all in these mm -hmm. hallways. I think there's a little bit too much of it, which is the one area I'd say would need improvement yeah. on. But it also, but it is nice to have a little bit of it. So like when there isn't like a great transition, um, you have that kind of like blackness and then you go into your next thing. So right. that, that's nice. It's maybe a little too much, but that's really our only complaint there. Um, and then there's actually uh, the barn scene from the movie that you see advertised earlier, which is really cool. And also what's really cool is most places have the elevator. This place has a real elevator, which I think is cool, a real actual working elevator with, you know, and there's a guy in like a space suit and he talks to you while you're in there and that's cool. So I just, I thought, I think it's really awesome that there's yeah. a real elevator in it, you know. I remember the first time we were there, I'm like, is this real? And then you're like, oh, nope, it actually is a real elevator. <laughs> um, and then... As she had mentioned earlier, on the entire gymnasium of the school, at least most of it, I think, is, is the maze, which we could just like talk about this thing forever. It, 
Oh my god. Um. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I I don't even know how to start with this thing. So you start off in this room, and you basically have to like find your way out. Find your way out. It because it is like. It's a room with like a bridge and a pond and stuff, and there's a clear way you go across the bridge. There's a clear path, and you go there, and then you go into the room, and then you walk down a hallway. And like we've been to this place before, they always change the maze. It's similar, but they always completely change it though. But it, it works the same way. And there's false walls. We found a false wall, and we push it open, and it led us back in that room. And we were like, "Oh crap!" Mm -hmm. We found an actor's passage. So we walked back, and we couldn't figure it out. And then we went back in the hub room. We see someone else exit through a false wall in that same room through a different wall. And they're like, we've been lost here, we don't know where to go. And we're like, oh no, this is like a hub room. And there's like an outhouse and a cave. We're not going to tell you how to get out of it. It's kind of obscure and that's the one problem I have with it. Is it, we were in there for a half hour. Yeah. It took us a little over an hour to get through the haunted house. Half of that time was being lost in this maze, which Jesus. Oh my God. So hard to get out. We had other places to be. So eventually we had to talk to an actor and give up. Um, like I said, it needs to be a little bit easier. Um, I'm not going to tell you where or anything, but the wall that you have to open, you have to pull towards you and not push is what it looked like when the actor opened it for us. Again, I'm not selling what it is, I'm not ruining anything, but I just don't know why. It's already hard to find, and then you also have to figure out to pull it instead of push, and it's pitch black for the most part in there. Yeah. So that was one thing that I, I, I just, I didn't like that part, but everything else is great about it. Everything mm -hmm. else is great. And they actually have like... I wouldn't say scenes, but it's different. Like, there's a room of strobe lights. There's a vortex tunnel in, the, in there. And then there were just random actors that were standing in complete darkness and had these little lights that they would just turn on when you yep. were close enough. Just scare the crap out and of you. And it, it worked. I mean, they yep. were dressed completely in black. You couldn't see them until they flicked that little light on, and it was like, oh, my God, there's a person yeah. there. So they are actors, but they were not really acting. They were just terrifying you. Yes. Like, they didn't say anything. They just would go, rah, or something, and turn the light back off. So that, that, was, that was cool. That was really cool. Um, God, that maze. <laughs> sick people that designed that. I mean, sick and a good by God, though. Yeah. My God. Um, so next, we'll go ahead and move on to actors, which we also gave a nine to. They're so good. <laughs> they are really good. Like, okay, so the aliens. <laughs> we'll get into them. We thought we caught up with another group of people because we heard talking in this room. No, these alien actors were talking to each other, but they were talking to each other in gibberish. Yes, in like alien. And like, it was so cool because they didn't, they, they were kind of cute almost. Like they talked to each other and like they didn't really try and scare you. They just like kind of avoided you. And then we were walking down this one, and there was like, I forget what it was, but there was some kind of like prop thing. And I kept hearing like, doo -doo 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 -doo. and we look, and this like little one is contorted like in this ball. And she's not trying to scare us, but it's like, she's like scared of us. And it was like, this is one of the few moments in the haunted house that wasn't scary. But it was so cool because it was just like, the scene was so elaborate. And it's mm -hmm. like, these things were just like acting like these aliens that are, but they were also kind of creepy, even though they're cute. Yeah. Because they kind of like reach out at you like they were a little bit scared and like they would just stand there and just look at you and like talk to one another. I, don't, I just really liked it. I thought yeah, it was awesome. Yeah, it was, it was great. Yeah. And then of course, we talked about the little girl in the dollhouse. This little girl was oh, like, just not... like, at first she was cute. She's like, you know, you want to play yeah, like... and it's like that. And then she grabbed like a severed leg and was like waving it at yeah. us and she wanted to know what our names were and she proceeded to like pretty much taunt us. Yes. Poked us in the face, kind of played with her hair and stuff a little bit. Yeah. yeah. And, but I mean, she was creepy. She was, yeah. she was Have good. fun, Kim. Yes. We're leaving. And she's like, have fun. Yeah. Using our names and just, just being all out creepy. And then, and then I laughed and she's like, what are you laughing at, Josh? <laughs> and I'm like, oh, right then. <laughs> like, she's this tiny little girl, and she's just, like, telling her she's going to cut us off, and just, like, just the way she said, like, because when we walk in the room, and, you know, the, do you guys want to play with us? And I'm like, all right, because that's, like, a generic thing to say. And then she, like, turns into this whole thing of how, like, she was going to murder us. And, like, mm -hmm. <laughs> and if we, well, if we didn't want to play, she was going to murder us. And, yeah. Which then we got to go, oh, and then the next room had the German dude. Oh, like, oh yeah, he's adorable. I, I, I don't know. Oh, I love but, him. A plus size guy and he's just got this German accent and he's like a toy maker or doll maker yeah. and he makes them out of humans. We think. We think yeah, that's probably I'm, what's going I'm on. assuming. He's but he's thing. just like so adorable and just you know, he's so cheery. 
you know, he, he kind of reminds me of the shopkeeper in Frozen, where he's like, you know, good dog, you know, how are you? I'm going to, you know, use your hair to make dolls. That kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. But it's fun. So, he's so, yeah, he's so good, and he's so in character, and he doesn't let you pass, and he's just waving you as a little bear, and it's like, it's so, like, adorably creepy. It was, yes. this, it, it was really cool. Um, and then, like, um, one of the cool things was like in the Egyptian section, you get to meet Anubis, and that was really cool, like how he was yeah. done. Yeah. A lot of the actors in this haunt are actually pretty aggressive, though, because they do touch at this haunt, and like they, so I got, I got, got quite a few times, like, mm -hmm. and there, I mean, like, this is, we talked like the atmosphere of this place is really good, and there's a lot of darkness, and like they use that person advantage, like where you're finally let your guard down, you're like, oh, nothing's happened for a while, then like a light turns on, the blaring noise, it just scares the crap out of you. And the hiding places were very good. Yeah, yeah. Um, but like so, all in all, like every actor we had, like all of them were very much in character. They had good lines, not generic. Like it, it felt fresh. Like even the people in the bar and they kind of hold you from. They don't want you to pass. And I mean, like people just jumping out of nowhere and just scaring the crap out of you. Like it was good. They said it's people coming out of places I didn't expect them to come out of. And just <laughs> yeah, the, all, all the actors were pretty good. Which I guess that's moved us on to scare factor. Which, we have a reoccurring theme here, which is also a nine. <laughs> Again, you will get scared at this one. Yeah. They have really good hiding spots. Yeah. They're very effective. Um, there were, like, people in, um, if, if you don't know what it is, um, a ghillie suit. Oh, yeah. It's kind of like a thing that military, like, sharpshooters use to hide in the bush. Yeah. Um, well, they've been pretty popular lately in haunted houses, and... This haunt definitely knows how to use them. Yeah, it's camouflaged real well, and yeah, there's 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 a lot there's a lot of things this haunt. I think use distraction really well. Yes. A lot of times you're like, oh, there's a prop, or and then like then an actor gets you, which is the best way to use animatronics and props. You know, yes. if you're going to be using them, it's just and the way the place is designed, it messes with you. Like it really does. Like the music and stuff they have really just. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of disorientation going on, especially in the maze. Obviously, it's a maze, but like even before the maze, there's a lot of like kind of like what's going on, you know? Yeah, like I said, I mean, it was it was creepy. It was it was creepy. It was really well done, and like I said, they got us quite a bit. It was it's pretty intense. I don't. <laughs> if your children get scared real easily, this might not be the best one to bring them to. But for all other people, it's yeah, it's scary. Pretty scary. <laughs> <laughs> um, so next we're going to move on to value. We gave them a 10. Yeah. It is, um, it's $15 to get into this haunt and yeah. it is well worth yeah. it. Because like we said, we were in this haunt for an hour. Yeah. I can't see anyone finishing it in under 40 minutes. Even yeah. if you, because no. I mean the haunt itself, before you get to the maze, I'd say that's probably 25 minutes to 30 minutes, depending mm -hmm. on, you know, how fast you go through it. And the actors are really good at not letting you go through very mm -hmm. fast. They will grab you and just be like, no, you don't. And you're like, well, all right then. <laughs> like, they're, yeah, they're pretty good at that. And, and, the, inter and, the, and the interaction, you know, takes a while, and that's nice. And they also, um, every, each time we've been there, even when they were busier, they, they put quite a bit of space in between the people. Yeah, yeah. Which like, is nice. Not you're standing in that people. queue line for at least... I think we were standing there for at least like five, maybe seven minutes before they let us in after, after the, the last, after the last, last person. Yeah. And again, so. they were slow. We got to right at opening. They were a little slow. We were the last time and there was a line. And still, same thing. Yeah, you're going to wait in line a little bit longer for this place, but the experience is better for it. So mm -hmm. if you're upset about waiting in a line for a little bit longer, it's like, well, you know, there's plenty of other haunted houses that you just want to pump through and get out of it. If you want to go to a haunted house that's a great value and a great experience, well, this, this is for you, you know. It's just, yeah, it's, def it's definitely worth it. And there's other haunted houses in the area as well, such as Lost Township and Darkview, which we will also have reviews for. So, and these are all within like a half hour of each other, pretty much. Yeah, so, yeah. this area itself is worth it to go to. Um, and then I guess that brings us to our overall score. I was going to say it. Okay. Okay. And that brings us to our overall score. We gave them a 9.5. There is... There is a little bit of room for, and I, like, the only thing we really said bad about it at all was, again, like, there's maybe a little bit too much black hallways, and the maze needs to be a little bit easier to figure out, because, again, I don't even know if we would have figured it out by ourselves, but it's, the idea of the maze is absolutely amazing. I've been in so many mazes, and I've never been in one as cool as that. Yes. It's so cool. It's so cool. Um, said, 
not a lot of room for improvement. I mean, it's it's great, and this isn't even that old of a haunt. I forget when it opened, but I don't think it's been open any longer than five years. Yeah, I think I, it's probably at least five. I, think, I don't think, it, yeah. I mean, I could be wrong, but I don't think it's my, I don't think it's any older than that, but mm -hmm. either way, I mean, because I went there one of the first years, and it was, it was okay, and there was a review from that, that was what, our first time we did Haunt Talk, we, I have a review on that, and that was one of the first years, and it was, it was, it was okay, and then we went last year, and then this year, it's not even like the same place, so if you've checked it up before, and you're like, eh, the place is alright, but I don't know if I need to return, you need to return, yes. you need to return to it, this place is definitely... If it's not already there with people, it's up and coming, and I think a lot more people should be checking out. This is the place to shove a line before it's even open. It's that good. It really is. Um, anything else you want to add? I think we've got covered it. Um, that does it for this review. And like I said at the beginning, make sure to think about you know the GoFundMe. The video's down there. Watch the haunt documentary we already have made. Trailer and that's linked in the description. Um, make sure to like uh, like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, subscribe to us on YouTube, and also all the music that's done before the video, and you'll hear after the, each of our video is a different song, um, and then all the music is done by a man named Jerry Vane. His website is also linked below. His music is awesome. It's not typical haunted house music. It's They call him the haunt rocker for a reason. And even if, you know, you're not into, if you're like, oh, you know, I'm not that into, like, spooky sounding music, his music you can listen to if you like, even, like, instrumental music. It's really good. And he just had a new album come out. So check him out. Maybe consider purchasing some of his music. Um, that does it for us for you. Thank you guys very much for watching. Bye.